The Zimmerman FZH does not require a bespoke foundation. This is not the same as some of our competition, where they use the civil engineering of the foundation itself to bring structural rigidity to the machine. On the FZH, the pallet wall and the machine column itself are united by a common base, negating the need for a bespoke foundation. The pallet size and the x-axis travel are scalable. This is another important feature. Many of our competition will lift the pallet where the thin section of the pallet becomes the cross section that resists the bending moment. By rotating the pallet, and only ever lifting it when it's in the vertical plane, this cross section becomes the one that resists the bending moment. This allows us to increase the size of the pallet, and therefore the size of the x-axis, and ultimately the size of the parts that can be produced within the machine platform. The pallet becomes the ceiling wall of the working area, thus providing a narrow chamber that optimizes mist and dust extraction, preventing ingress into the factory environment, making this the ideal platform for the machining of long aluminium or carbon fiber parts. A look at the 3D model allows us to really understand the unique design of the column. Removing the back panel allows us to take a closer look at the column design. The guide carriage is supported by two sets of linear rails displaced vertically and is driven by two separate ball screws on each side of the column. In the next sequence, we can see the Zimmerman column depicted on the left and the more typical design on the right. As the tool advances on the Z-axis, the relationship with the column structure never varies. This is not the case on the right. The further the tool advances, the more significant the reduction in structural integrity. The combination of the axis movements on the ABC head renders the need for continuous C-axis and angled heads for work on the periphery of the part obsolete. 